Hi there, it's another lovely day and I've been really looking forward to getting back onto these fields. Don't worry about all this coming through, this is just wheat seed from last year's harvest, it hasn't been drilled so I'm not doing any harm to it. I'm recovering from a bit of a cold and I came out a couple of days ago with Tasky who behaved so badly I absolutely ran myself hoarse with shouting at him. I've left him behind today just because I don't have that much time um, and I need to concentrate and with this cold I cannot be screaming at him, it just it, it hurts too much. So I'm sorry, no Tasky today. Um, he had his fun a couple of days ago and he's paying the price I'm afraid, he's got to learn, he can't be as naughty as he has been. Anyway, I've dug up something quite interesting here. I've seen it, it looks like a thimble end, but it looks like a silver thimble end. I found a few bits and pieces in this field over the years, so we might have quite a good day. Anyway, yeah, it looks like a th silver thimble end to me. It's definitely silver. I mean, it's coin shaped. I can't think what it else it could be. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite sturdy silver, I think. Nice little start, slightly unusual, pity it's not the whole thing. Yay! I found a really, oh, I don't know if it's really nice, but it's a hammered coin. Just in this clod, I can just see it there, it's beautiful. Really lovely. Now while it's there and ensconced in the ground, I'm just going to show something. I've just been asked on, from my last video, the little gold coin I said was dull and wisp and all the rest of it, but when I did that, obviously it sounded fine. Now I'm just going to try and show you what it does, what using the XP Deus and maybe the coming up one, the, 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 the second one, how it's going to sound sometimes. Right, I put it right back in there. I'm closing it all up. Now that's therefore, because it's still in its clod, it's going to be qu quite like the conditions you can expect. Now, so all you're going to hear sometimes, it's not a thumping great knock with a, with a siren. You've got to notice that little wisp. And if you're going through mineralised ground, This is what you've got to look out for. The gold was going to come up a little bit lower than that. I mean, full tones, as always, with the light. I'm a little bit higher off the ground, just to show you. Those are all other bits and pieces. Just a wisp. That's what you've got to look out for. Okay, back to business. Where was he? I hope I can find him again. I should be able to. I've got a metal detector. But sadly, no, he's still in there. Okay, here we go. There he is. If it is a hammered after all this. Yay. Well, brilliant. And he's in really nice condition. Hooray. Nice start to the day. Right, what is it? Voided long cross and then a whole one. Very nice indeed. So what, Henry III? I can see a really nice portrait on that side. Not clipped. Brilliant. Well, I didn't live dig this because it gave such a dull sound. I thought nothing good can come of it and nothing did it for us. It's just a lead diamond. We've all found thousands of these, haven't we? But it's got something on it. I gave it a little rub and it's got a couple of circles, a circle within a circle. 
don't know what that means, but I've never come across it before. Quite interesting. If anyone can tell me, is it a gaming piece, perhaps? And then this. It's hammered copper. I, I can see detail on it, but I'm going to be quite careful with it. It's pretty fragile. It looks a bit too big to be a rose farthing. I think I can see wrecks on one side, perhaps. And an olus on the other. Okay, so it's, it is a Charles. It's a Charles farthing, probably, of sorts, even though, as I said, it looks a bit big. But wow. Very, very fine. I'm looking forward to cleaning that up, but I don't know. It might be one of those things that have more detail on it now than it does when you've given it a bit of a rub. You've got to be quite careful. Well, that's almost a sunbather. It's right on the surface. Wasn't expecting that today. Not here. It's a little Roman coin. I mean, it looks like a Cistercius, but it's um very, very clear. I mean, I think that could be quite early. It looks like a Cistercius, but it's just slightly on the small side. What are they called? Beginning with D. Is it one of those? Um, Clearly see an emperor on one side and a deity on the other, looking right. Wow. Gosh. Didn't, didn't think I'd find a chunky Roman here. Gosh, the wind is really picking up. It's a bit squeaky, but you never know with these. Just found the most socking piece of lead. It gave a really, really long signal, which was either going to be a socking piece of lead at depth or some massive great big chunk of misshapen iron or something. But the bore about finding something that big and weighty is you've got to lug it around with you for the rest of the day. Um, I don't know what it is. I've found big bits like that before. If anyone can help, put it down there for the time being. I've been finding a lot of lead. It's probably another piece. Ah, rats. Rifle case, they're going to fool you all day. Oh, it's quite loud, isn't it? But I've just dug up something really quite interesting, which was so loud. I always find something really, really loud like that. You know, you've got to be very wary of it, but you'll see in a second. Sounds a bit modern. Bit of a Georgian buckle fragment. I'm not going to bother showing you that, you can imagine it. But I am going to bother showing you this because it just sounded like a socking great piece of copper, and it is a socking great piece of copper. But on closer inspection, it's got gilding on it, silvering on it, all sorts of design. My gut feeling is it's not that old, but I just don't know. I'm not gonna um, clean it up here. It might just be a socking great dandy button. But, well, it's not your run of the mill find, that's for sure. I wonder if you can see what I mean. 
But anyway, I'll photograph it in a minute and, and put that up because when it's cleaned up, it might be really something. <sighs> Who knows? The battery on my mic's died. I'm so sorry. You're not going to be able to hear this now. Just, it'll just go to show what, what a difference a microphone makes. I can go back to the car and get another one. Sounds nice. Right, but not too right. Where this wind has suddenly come from. There you go, you can see the G. It's a little William Farthing. I don't think I found many of these. William the third, I think. Gosh, it's windy. But very nice. Well here's some also rands. Quite a nice Victorian halfpenny, it's a bit smashed up. I can't see a date on it yet, but got a nice colour and patina, I might clean up. And I'm not sure exactly what these are, I've seen loads of these over the years. Um, I've never had one myself. Is it a stylus of sorts, or an awl? Um, it's bronze I think, or copper alloy of sorts. And then finally this. I'm not sure, is it Elizabethan or Tudor? It's definitely the right shape. But it is in two parts, which makes me think. Most of the Tudor buttons I find are just one. Well, that might be quite interesting. Again, another tiny piece of lead that I would have normally just put straight in the rubbish bag. But it seems to have something on it. And I'm not sure it isn't a cloth seal of sorts. Am I seeing things or is there something on that? The way um, it looks like it's sort of doubled over. I don't know what the design is, but this, I can see something on it. I mean, it looks rather abstract and Celtic, but I'm not sure it is. It's lead. Gosh, it's one of those days, a day for checking your lead. Well, the odd bit keeps on coming up. I've found a very nice Victorian halfpenny. 16, 16, 19, sorry, 1864. Rather 1884, I think. And even though it's not complete, quite a nice little buckle. And that design's quite early. I mean, I think that's between sort of, you are certainly 13th, 14th century, I think. So that's not bad. That might have a little bit of design on it, actually. And then I've got a signal here. We'll see. I've been digging up the odd cartridge just recently, so that could be another one. Let's have a look. Then I'm going to call it a day. It's been really lovely being out and, and really quite and not unsuccessful either. <laughs> A gnarly old piece of lead. Well, that's not the best one to end on, is it? But that's the way it's got to be. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time. <laughs>